Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Today's video is going to be kind of a reply and a, an opinion video on a question I got from M. Jackal 1979. His question was, Mr. Hino, we use the Lego Mindstorms EV3 in their robotics class and he basically just wanted my insight, input, opinion into the uh, Lego Spike Prime. Um, it's just uh, was put in by Lego Education. It's not going to come out until August. So my opinion is just going to basically be about what I've seen and kind of the comments that I've read about it. So you're going to have to stay tuned to listen to that. Okay, let me go ahead and tell you uh, how I see and view the Lego uh, Spike Prime. That's really hard to say, Lego Spike Prime. Anyway. Um, for those of you that are not familiar with uh, where this might fall, um, Lego Mindstorms is here, and as far as what I have seen and what the kit is built for, it's right directly underneath uh, Lego Mindstorms. So um, my first take on this would be, I, I honestly think there are some cool parts to it. I don't necessarily seeing um, Spike Prime taking over Mindstorms, they're obviously meant for different levels. <clears throat> I teach middle school, so our EV3 is perfect for that. I, I feel if we went to Spike Prime, it would be beneath Lego Mindstorms. Uh, Spike Prime is mainly for the elementary age group, but I've definitely seen some cool things that I would love to be able to take out of that uh, Spike Prime and to be able to kind of coordinate with the EV3. And let me go to those things right now. First of all, I love the Spike Prime wheels. Let me show you a picture of it. So these wheels um, are offering or basically stating that they're less friction and basically better maneuverability. I'd love to get my hands on some of those wheels and test them out to see if that's actually true. So um, if I didn't tell you already, the kit is supposed to come out in August, so I'm definitely going to try to get my hands on, the, the, if not the kit, those parts to be able to check that out. Another thing is what they call this biscuit. Let me show you a picture of that. What I like about the, this biscuit is the options that it can give our team members now to be able to attach and be able to create with their robot with this piece. I believe it definitely adds some versatility to those of you that build and know that sometimes we just don't have the right angles or pieces to make something work. I believe this biscuit is going to definitely allow um, builders to be able to uh, come up with more options and creations in their FLO robot. Another thing that this uh, Spike Prime is offering are these 2x4 Technic bricks. Um, I'll actually send you guys a link. That's actually available right now. Um, so it, it's coming out as something like new. I mean, the colors might be new. I actually, um, there's, there's some uh, bright colors that go along with the Spike Prime. Um, but I'll show, go ahead and if you check the description, I've sent you the link to these actual two by four Technic bricks. So they're able to go on to, you know, the axles and you can fit, fit axles through these things. So, um, you know, as far as that goes, um, we can get our hands on those things already and those can add some versatility to your building. Another thing that I like about the Spike Prime is the bigger um, frames. For those of you that, you know, use the Lego Mindstorms, we have those picture frames. The Spike Prime is going to offer bigger, let me show you a picture of it. So what I like about these picture frames is they're uh, allowing us to get a little bit a little bit more creative and add some versatility to the building. Um, it's going to be a little less restrictive to what we can do. So I definitely like those wheels. I'd like to get my hands on some of these bigger picture frames and see um, what we're able to do with um, you know a bigger size frame. I'd also I also like the idea of these. Uh, cable or wire clips. Let me show you a picture of that. These uh, wire clips are able to now help you keep better track of your cables and keep them, you know, uh, 
less loose and hanging around. So I definitely want to get my hands onto those too. So all in all, my opinion of the Spike Prime is it's definitely something I'm interested in. I definitely think there are parts and pieces I'd like to be able to incorporate with the Lego Mindstorms. Um, but honestly, as, as far as, you know, ditching the Lego Mindstorms EV3 and replacing it with Spike Prime, not at the level that I'm at. I, I believe that EV3 is going to be around for a while at the middle school level and at the elementary school level. But as far as um, its versatility and being able to just match the level of my middle school students, um, I just feel like it's definitely geared towards the lower grades, maybe, you know, first grade through fourth or maybe even fifth. Um, they also use Scratch as part of their program, these drag and drop blocks, kind of like the Lego Mindstorms, but, you know, in a different format. Um, and I believe that that's, that's another indication that it's meant for lower level uh, students as far as grade level. All right, so there you have it, uh, M. Jekyll, 1979. Thank you again for your question. I don't know if there's something I might have left off or not answered, but if you, you know, if you want to shoot me a question about it, you can. I definitely am excited to see uh, some of these pieces. So, you know, I might get my hands on one or two of these kits and just be able to have my students mess with these different parts and incorporate that with their Lego EV3 robot. I think that's going to be the cool part. Okay, guys, I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Lego Robotics. I am out.